large format TVs are about to put projectors out of business. That's the conversation that I began to see probably over the past six months when these larger TVs began hitting the market. Now, originally we saw big TVs that were in the tens of thousands of dollars. And so most people were thinking, man, that's just super unaffordable. I'll stick with my projector. But over the past probably six months, we saw last year at Cedia 2023, Hisense came out with a 100 inch TV. And originally it was going to have an MSRP of like $10,000, but somehow they were going to announce it at $5,000. Big deal, right? I mean, like that's a great youth man deal. And then within probably just a few months, we saw it drop down to $3,000. And people are going, oh my goodness, man, now I can finally get a large format TV, 100 inch for three grand. And some of my subscribers and even patrons picked them up for even less than that with some type of rebates and things that allowed them to save even more money. Recently, Hisense came out with a second 100 inch TV. And this one is around the $2,000 mark. And then TCL has one very similar size, a 98 inch, and it's under $2,000 as well. So this begs the question, will these large format TVs be a replacement for projectors? And so I own both. I don't have a 100 inch TV, but I've got a pretty large TV in my living room. I have the Hisense U7H. That is a 85 inch TV. And then here in the theater room, I've got a 150 inch with a projector, JVC. So I wanna kinda of walk you through um, kinda of my thoughts on this. Let's just have some fun conversation. But before we dive into it, let me know down in the description below. I'm just curious, what size TV do you have? Or if you have a projector, what size projection screen do you have? And then let me know whether or not you think that TVs are going to be soon replacing projectors in a home theater. So back when I first got into home theater, and at that time we called it surround sound because that was the first uh, surround sound system that we had for the home cinema. And so we had a Dolby Pro Logic setup, five speakers, one subwoofer was pretty much uh, the standard back then. And the TV to get, the go-to TV at that time was a 32 inch Sony Trinitron TV. This TV was huge at that time. Um, and so we were looking at this going, man, you know, that's a big, big TV. That'd be great to have. Fast forward down the road, when I moved into this home and I began to build this dedicated theater room, I decided to go with a 103 inch diagonal 2.35 to one aspect ratio uh, screen. And so at that time, that was a big screen. And then for, fast forward a couple years later, I ended up redesigning my front wall and went even bigger. And so now my current theater room has a 150 inch diagonal, 2.35 to one. It's about 12 and a half feet wide. And so that is where I'm at today. But like I said, I've got a living room set up as well. And so when we're thinking about building a theater room, I know that probably two thirds of you in a poll that I did a couple years ago, two thirds of you said that you do not have a dedicated theater room like I do here. You don't have an enclosed space that you can isolate the sound and the, and the, the light, fully light control. And so I just wanted to have this conversation. Will these large format TVs replace projectors? And so my thought, number one, if you have a dedicated space, Maybe you've got a bonus room. Maybe you've got a dedicated room like I have here. This wasn't a theater room. It was called a media room. It basically was a 13 foot wide by 19 foot deep, 10 foot ceilings, empty room. So there's no closet in here. That's why I call it a media room. We have a up here, there's a window that I've boarded up. And so there's no light that comes through there. Over here is a, a triple sliding, I'm sorry, double sliding glass door that has some um, Velamax to block out all the light and then I've got thick curtains to, to prevent those, those hard surfaces from um, creating some you know, negative impact here acoustically in the room. But I chose to go with a dedicated projector and here's why. When we first uh, walked into this room and we moved in and I'm in here and just kind of visualizing and thinking through like what could I do in this room? I'd never built a theater room. I really didn't know what I was doing. 
But at the time, this was 17, almost 18 years ago, the go-to TV size was a 55 inch. So that was pretty standard. That was like a big screen TV back then. And so I remember going on to walmart.com and I looked up a 55 inch and I found out the, the measurements, the width and the height. And so I masked it out with some blue masking tape on my front wall. And I remember walking back to the back of this room and I just stood and I looked at this small little blue square. It was kind of sad. And I just thought, I, I just had this like, not sadness, but I just took a deep sigh like, ah, oh, that's not gonna work. Having a 55 inch TV, even though that seems big, it's not going to provide the cinematic and that movie experience that I was really looking forward to having in a dedicated theater room. And so that's when I decided to go with the 103 inch screen and then later moved to 150 inch. The biggest reason that TVs, even a 100 inch, even though that's a big TV, the biggest reason I feel that they're not going to be replacing projectors anytime soon is because even though a 100 inch is pretty large, unless you're sitting like three foot away, four foot away, you're not going to get an immersive experience. And I think that's one of the major components of having a theater screen, having a big screen, is that big immersiveness. So my seat's right here. So my eyes are nine feet from the front of my screen. And that screen is 150 inch diagonal. It's a pretty incredible immersive experience. I don't feel that it's too wide. I never once have sat down and went, man, I went too big. Um, if I go to the back row, it's about 14 feet. To me, that's too small. I always feel like I'm looking at the screen, not in the movie, and I wanna be in the movie. So that's part of why I created this room. And so I think that's the biggest downfall of even these large screen TVs. A 100 inch is big, it's huge, especially compared to what we used to own even just five, 10 years ago but a hundred inch isn't super immersive. And so I think that that's one of the critical things that is going to determine whether or not TVs will replace projectors anytime soon. Now, of course, you've got the, the new, um, you know, the micro, I think they're micro LEDs and they, they kind of connect together and you can make as big of a TV as you want. That's way down the road because those are hundreds of thousands of dollars. We're not even close. So one day I'll make another video when those become affordable, but that's not here yet. So we're talking 100 inch TVs. So if you have, or if you're wanting to build a, a theater room, okay, again, two thirds of you don't have a dedicated room. So you're probably rocking something in the living room. The biggest issue with having a projector, uh, I have a JVC NZ8, absolutely love this projector. It's gorgeous fills my screen 150 inches. It's beautiful, it's bright, black levels are phenomenal, but it would be absolute garbage in my living room. And the biggest reason is I can't get that room dark enough. It's gonna be washed out, contrast is gonna suffer. So there's, it's just not ideal for most living room setups unless you can get that room really, really dark. And so if you got a dedicated theater room, 100% go with a regular projector. I really think that that's going to provide a much better experience movie watching than even a big TV, a 100 inch TV. But if you've got a living room, there's a couple of options. You can go with a 100 inch TV, but we also, many years ago, probably five or six years ago, projector manufacturers realized that people wanted a bigger image than a TV could provide but a standard projector like an NZ8 isn't going to cut it in that type of environment. So they came out what is called an ultra short throw projector. So this is a small projector that allows you to place in front of your screen, typically about seven inches, depending on how big you want it. Most ultra short, short throw projectors can produce between say 100 to 120 inch image. Um, some of them go a little bit larger, but that's pretty typical, 100 to 120 inch. So that's really comparable to the 100 inch TVs that are out on the market now. And most of those projectors are in the range of say 2,000 to $4,000. So comparatively, yes, their price is right in line with each other. And so 
just three or four years ago, I was recommending ultra short throw projectors if you have a living room setup. It's a great alternative. You pair it with an ambient light rejection screen and you can get a really bright image even with all the lights on. And then you've got this big, massive screen that you couldn't get five years ago with a TV. But now that we've got these large format TVs, I'm beginning to shift, okay? I'm no longer seeing as much value in these ultra short throw projectors because when you take an ultra short throw projector, 100 inch, and then you take a, a nice TV that's 100 inch, honestly, the TV is going to look nicer. It's gonna have better colors oftentimes. Um, they're brighter. So I'm beginning to say, I'm not, I'm not recommending those as much anymore. Now, the great thing is with all technology, they continue to get better and better every year. And so in the next couple of years, we may see ultra short throw projectors continue to evolve and, and become more like OLED TVs and uh, just this beautiful, rich, vibrant colors. Um, and so there may be some value there, but as far as if I were to pick from my living room, ultra short throw or a hundred inch TV, I'd go with one of these hundred inch TVs. TCL, Hisense, there may be some other brands in the near future that begin to follow suit and create these big, massive 100 inch TVs as well. But when it comes to dedicated theater rooms, absolutely not. I don't think that these 100 inch TVs are going to replace projectors anytime soon. I will take a JVC NZ7, NZ8 over any TV. We're talking even OLED quality. I don't care if the black levels are perfect black on an OLED. You cannot get the same emotional experience, the same immersiveness, the same impact that you can visually on a massive large scale projection screen than you can with a TV. Now, if you are in the market for a projector or TV, I'll leave some of my favorite links down in the description below, so be sure to check those out. Now, I realize oftentimes in building out a home theater, we don't have the opportunity to demo products before we buy them. Oftentimes, you guys are relying on content creators like myself that review products to be able to share the good, the bad, the ugly, and that way you can make a better informed decision for your own home theater. Well, that's exactly why we created M-Wave, the Midwest AV Experience. This is a three-day weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, in Kansas City. You'll have the opportunity to do some blind comparisons between various projectors. Last year, we had the Epson LS12000, all three Sony, the 5000, 6000, the 7000, and all three of the new laser uh, projectors from JVC, the NZ7, 8, and NZ9. And you're able to see in blind comparison, how does an Epson compare to a Sony? How do the various JVCs, the NZ7, compared to the NZ8? And that way you as a consumer can determine is it worth the, um, what you're getting from that, the worth the additional cost of those two projectors. We're also going to have TV comparisons. Last year, FOMO, Stop the FOMO, and Brian, they both did an amazing job in the TV comparison room. We've got a room just dedicated to blind AB comparisons in TVs. And so you can see all the latest, greatest side by side and see how does an OLED compare to an LED and so forth or a QLED. And so we're excited to be able to offer this to the home theater community. And it's the only event out there that is designed specifically for home theater. All the other trade shows, they're great, but they're all two channel with maybe a sprinkle of home theater and we're flipping the script. We're going all in on home theater because we know that that is a need in the home theater community. So I hope you will consider joining me as well as many other content creators June 21st through the 23rd in Kansas City. All the details will be on the website, midwestavexperience.com. So let me know down in the comments your thoughts on this subject. Do you think large format TVs are going to put an end to projectors? I'd love to know. Hope you guys have an incredible week. God bless, and I will catch you in the next video.